I'd like you to meet Rock and Nicole. She's 27 years old and he's 24 years old and they're from Oxnard, California. They're engaged and we're planning to get married this coming Valentine's Day. But now Nicole says she's not sure Rock is the one. Nicole, why? <laughs> Ooh, ominous, isn't it, folks? <laughs> so tell me, why are you not sure Rock is the one all of a sudden? Well, <laughs> um, me and Rock, we grew up together, you know. Um, I've been knowing him since I was nine, okay, and he used to have this big crush on me, and I didn't like him. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I moved away, and I moved back, and, you know, we used to kick in and everything, go to the clubs and stuff, but I still didn't like him. I just liked him as a friend, you know, somebody I grew up with. <laughs> and um, I introduced him to a friend of mine, which I shouldn't have, which is a male, and he became a party animal. I mean, just going to the clubs every night, um, coming home at 6 in the morning, thinking it was all good, you know, and just living a bachelor life. Now, wait a second. Tell me, when did it stretch from y'all just being friends to coming home at 6 in the morning? Well, I kind of start liking them. When you go out to the club with somebody, you know, a lot, then I'll say, you know, you a couple of drinks, she starts saying. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. starting looking good And here. then you all got engaged? Yeah, we got engaged, but uh, we took everything slow because, you know, he's a, he's a, he was my friend first, and I didn't want to lose my friendship. So I took everything as slow as possible, yeah. you know, and as far as, like, moving in, everything, we did the whole traditional thing, just do everything really slow. Mm -hmm. And so um, we got engaged. But um, I didn't get no ring. <laughs> he asked me and then, but we didn't tell anybody because it's like, we don't, we never argue anything. The only argument we have is, is him staying out to no, six no, in the morning. No, no, we do you... argue. <laughs> we argue a lot. What do you but, argue uh, about? Everything from who's going to do the cooking at night to who's going <laughs> to get on top. Oh, my God. <laughs> But, um, you know, as it's far, all good. As far as the cooking, there is no argument there. And as far as who's going to yeah, get on top. Yeah, she is a good cook. She's as far as cook. who's going to get on top. Well, you know, that's hey, a, a hey. mutual agreement that we don't need to discuss here today. <laughs> so, but I understand you have a problem with, with Rock because you introduced him to a friend named Brad. Yes. That's now just become a troublemaker. How yes. did that happen? Well, first of all, Brad thinks he's the biggest player in our town. We live in a very small town. They call it Mayberry. They don't even call it Oxnard, okay? <laughs> and it's like, um, Brad is like your typical bachelor. You know, when I was a bachelorette, you know, I used to hang out with Brad, you mm -hmm. know, and it was cool. You know, I know his, his little style that he has and stuff, you know. And so um, I introduced him to him, you know, because just because we all hung out together and I thought it would be, you know, cool for him to know. Yeah. Well, if you knew out. what kind of guy he was, why did you introduce him to your man? Well, because when we first started hanging out, it was all three of us together, you know. Mm -hmm. We used to do our little dirt and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, it just started being me and Brad running together, running around and stuff you like that. You leave Nicole at home? No, 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 no. Oh, no, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> this is what happened. Brad lived in L.A. Brad asked, could he move down because we have a two-bedroom apartment. So I said, yeah, cool, you know, you can move down with us. Brad moves down with us, gets the guest room, and I guess he decided he's going to turn my guest room into a hoochie room because he started having all kind of hoochie, hoochie mamas coming in over. In your house? In my house. I come home from work. This one wasn't working. Brad wasn't working. So I come home from work. Who, do I, who do I see? Who do I see? I see all these little freak mamas Well, let in my me house. ask you this. Have you ever suspected rock of doing something oh, he shouldn't be honey, doing. Honey, I am Columbo, okay? I, I, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you. Yes. This, this one right here, if he's doing something, if he is out there doing something, all the women, they know me. Yeah, and she's I make Columbo, because known... she'll be hitting star 69 Yes, on the I'm phone, the star 69 queen. Checking I'm star my pager. 69, star 69. Checking your pager. Checking yes. my pager. Have you ever caught my him? friends where I've been, yep. calling me or Caught him doing what? Well, oh, what do I do? What, yeah. First, when I come in, if he's not home, I hit readout. Then when whoever call whoever hits read down it calls back, um, if they act like if I'll say, um, oh what's up? Did you call me a rock? And they'll say, oh no, I don't know rock or I don't know you. And it's a female. I, I block her off my phone. She's banished. Star she can't 60. call my house no more. I take his pager. He thinks that he. So does do it. you just suspect him of cheating, or have you actually caught him no, doing something? No, it's not a cheat. point. It's not a point of me thinking that he cheats or anything like that. It's just that he's just a big flirt. <laughs> do you have like trust for your man? Yeah, I have a lot of trust in so, him. So, like, if you trust him, like, why are you going behind him? I don't go little, behind his back. Moment? I do it in his face. I don't go behind his back. But, I ask him a question. But if, if he can't relationship... give me that answer, then I, I, I find out for myself. Because I ain't going to go by what you tell me or nobody else. But if y'all relationship... Okay. If y'all relationship... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 